What's up, doers? It's your boy Chappy here. What's up? Yeah, we got some audio. What's going on? Okay, so today I'm gonna show you how to build this uh, tileable, whoop, bee-powered uh, auto crop farm. Basically, once this thing gets rolling, you can see that the uh, farmers they can't even harvest this thing as fast as these bees keep it going. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the items that you're gonna need in order to build this thing. Now, this is just basically for one tile. If you're going to build this two or three high, you're going to need, you know, double this and double everything that you see here. So for just one tile, you're gonna need two stacks of dirt, at least two stacks of building blocks, a stack of glass as well too, uh, two buckets of water or one bucket of water plus a water source, two slabs, four trap doors, four beehives, three beds, a composter, two rails, two mine carts with hopper, uh, four hoppers, two chests, some lights so that no no uh, mobs spawn inside it, a door with two buttons. It has to be an iron door because the villagers can actually open regular wood doors, which is annoying. A ladder to get up to the second and third tile, right? If you are going to tile it, some flowers. You're going to need at least a half stack of flowers and then your crop of choice okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build the crop area so what you want to do is you want to dig out two blocks just like that and then fill them both with water and then put a slab on top of them just like that now you can see the water is still there but the slabs cover it enabling you to build on top of it and then from each thing come out or till out four blocks and then connect the entire system up okay once you're done you can start to see that the ground is getting saturated now what you want to do is you actually want to plant your dandelions in an area around the entire farmland basically here okay and this is what you should have when you're done now decide which is going to be your front and back i like to do it on the even side here so that way there's four on each side and then this is the middle and leave this spot here open but fill the rest in with glass and basically build yourself a three high perimeter around the entire uh, farmland, cropland here. Again, on the back side, leave the center block here open in order for you to put a door so you can access this. Okay, and when you're done, this is what you should have. You should have a nicely enclosed area with an opening on the back side for you to put a door and then an opening here on the front side in order for you to house your villager. Now what you want to do is you want to dig out this land here just like this in order for you to put a chest down with some hoppers. So do that, put your chest down, come to the inside, place a hopper going into that chest and then a hopper going into that hopper just like that. Remove this flower here Put a rail down on top of the hopper and then a mine cart and then remove the rail from underneath. Put a trap door down just like that. A trap door down on this block here just above the mine cart. And then another trap door on the outside just like you see there. Next on top of this trap door you want to put a rail another mine cart and if you're going to tile this thing you want to come up here place a block just like that and put a hopper going down into this mine cart just like you see there when you're done this is the system that you should have now you want to leave this rail here and you want to leave these trap doors here because if this rail is here the bees won't pathfind into the little section that we're building and they and if they do do that and this rail is gone they will actually push the mine cart out Next, what you want to do is you want to build out one block 
on each side and then a block in the middle just like that and make those too high place a trap door down on the inside of this block here and close it down and then another trap door on top just like that in order for you to trap the villager once you get him in place next on the outside of each corner place a bed down just like you see there come to the inside and from the inside here place your door down remove this block put in a solid block of some sort so you can place a button down hit your button come to the outside and put another button there so that way you have access in and out now from the inside here what you want to do is you want to remove this corner flower place your composter down in the corner and then in this back corner remove these two flowers and place your third and final bed down just like that now for the bees what you want to do is you want to grab your bees hive or bee nest whatever ones you're going to use and you want to point these in all four directions so we want to do one forward one to the left one to the back and one to the right you can see the little slot there and if you're using a bee nest you can tell the direction that it's facing based on the holes that are in the front you can see those little holes right there those are where the bees come in and out of and now you can start to move your villagers in so put your first villager in this section here use a minecart to get him inside somehow and he should immediately start to take up the trade of the farmer which he did there yep yeah. and then come to the outside and from this direction here get your next villager and drop him in the hole and then quickly close the gate down on top of him just like that now make your way back inside choose your crop of choice I'm going to use potatoes for the first one and start placing your crops down okay once you have your crops in they're going to start to grow you can do this immediately if you want so that way they have a little bit of a faster grow time but once you've done that what you want to do is you want to take your dirt because we're going to be tiling this thing upwards and place your dirt ceiling down on top of it making this area here only too high Try not to place any dirt above the beehives though because we're going to be tiling this upwards and putting water on top of those beehives right there. Okay, once you've got the roof all done, grab your lanterns and place a lantern in each corner. One in front of each door here and then one on each side. These ones here on the ends aren't really necessary, but place one on each side and that'll stop the mobs from trying to spawn in here during the nighttime. And that is it. That is your first layer of the system completely done. So do whatever you can. Grab some flowers in your hands and lure some bees in. But because we're in creative, I'm going to do the little, a little bit of a cheating thing here. So I'm going to come inside and now we've got four beehives here. And you get three bees per hive, so that means we're going to need 12 bees in total. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there we got 12 bees. And you'll see immediately they're going to start going after the flowers. And once they collect the pollen from the flowers, they will fly over top of the crops here to get to the beehive. And as they fly over it, they're going to drop pollen from their butts. And you can see the little green sparkle showing up and that's actually going to grow the crops by one age so you can see here these ones are at age one and that one is at age zero and that's because the bees have flown over them and started to grow this one here is already at age two and that is basically how the system works the bees leave the hive come over here collect pollen from the flowers fly back over top of the crops and drop their pollen on top of the crops look at that one it's already at age six drop their pollen over top of the flowers and accelerates the growth of the crop 
Now, one other thing that I forgot to do that is something that I like to do just for an efficiency thing is we'll get this B out of the way here. Because I like to actually close this down, close that one on the inside down, and then close that trap door back up. So that way, as you can see, we are looking at the minecart here. And when this guy starts to throw his crops, it will actually kind of slip in between that little void there and get caught by the second minecart more efficiently. And you have no chance of this guy's inventory getting full and these two stop trading. Now the bees have a two minute wait time. So it's two minutes that they'll spend inside their crop there before they come back out, or sorry, inside their hive there before they come back out and collect more pollen. That is basically it. Your system is done and is ready to be tiled. So you can just repeat those steps for the top here. Just put your water down inside the hole in the center. Come out four blocks each way. You know, do this whole thing here on the inside. Place your flowers along the edge. Put your beds down and just basically follow the same steps that you did for this section down here. And once you're all done, this is what you should have. And like I said, these crops start to grow so fast that the farmers can't even keep up with it. And if we look down here in my chest, as I was building the other two tiles last night, this is the amount of crops that I got. So the amount of time that it took us to build this, this guy here, or this chest here started to fill up rapidly. If you do tile this thing up, you know, just put a ladder down and two slabs on the outside of the doors here and that will allow you to get up to each section basically get inside in case something happens and you should be good to go now the reason why you have this trap door on the inside here is as you can see the bees for some reason because this trap door is in the front and there is no flower there the bees actually like to come and just kind of sit there and park their butts down for a little bit and take a little break and if you remove this rail that is in there, the bees will actually pathfind their way into this hole here and push the minecart out. But because this trap door is here, it keeps the villager tucked against the side and there is basically no room for the bees to get in and out of this section here. So that way they don't uh, mess with the minecart. But there you have it you guys that is it that is the bee powered crop farm if there's a uh, any questions that you guys have leave them in the uh, comment section below and uh, yeah don't forget to subscribe but wait there's more now if you're somebody that built my honey farm so here is my auto honey farm and you want to transform this into a honeycomb farm because what I found is that the honeycombs were actually going everywhere. All you have to basically do is we'll close that there, put down a block on either side of the beehive here, put a hopper in front of it. So you know how we built this with double chest going wide. So you take the beehive, put a hopper down in front of it going into that chest put a block on either side and then fill the oh my god I'm already out of shears fill the dispenser on top with shears and then as this gets to honey level 5 the shears will get dispensed down and through the system and you will be collecting your honeycombs this is a lossless system I've never had any honeycombs at all get lost from this one um if you just leave it open like this over here basically when the dispenser dispenses the shears the honeycombs have a chance to just kind of spray all over the place but if you just put a block on either side you will be collecting honeycombs in no time and as you can see i've already got 64 64 so we've got 128 130 something honeycombs already plus all of the honey bottles that we have collected from the system as well too so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching and like i said i'll uh, catch you on the next uh, video bye, -bye.